This demo will showcase our database to Salesforce account migration template. The migration pattern is the act of moving a large set of data from one system to the other at a point in time. Migrations are critical in any organization that has data operations and most commonly occur during mergers and acquisitions, implementation of new software, migration to a cloud-based environment, and many more. In this video, I'll show you an example of an organization that needs to migrate some of its accounts from a database to a Salesforce instance. We will also specify a filtering criteria. In this case, an account will be filtered depending on the number of employees and in the industry. Right now, let's go ahead and see how it works inside of two different systems. If we take a look inside of the database, we can see the accounts that meet the criteria of being in education and government industry, some of which have more than 5,000 employees. Now, let's start the migration process. This template is triggered via an API call, so it can be used manually or programmatically. All we have to do to make it run is to send a request to a configured HTTP endpoint, and you can see how quickly we'll receive a message that the batch process has been initiated. This template is configured so that when the migration process is complete, you'll receive an email. As you can see, we've already received a message report that the migration process has been completed. Then, when we go back to our Salesforce instance and refresh the page, we will see that the accounts that met the criteria successfully migrated over. Now, let's move from the user experience to AnyPoint Studio, our graphical design environment for the AnyPoint platform, and see what's powering this integration. Here, we see our template, which leverages best practices for integration with Salesforce and makes this integration possible in minutes. This template's already been downloaded from our library where all of our templates can be found. As we look at the endpoints file, we can see that this integration is triggered via an API call. Then, when we go to the business logic file, we can see that the template uses a batch module to make the act of moving a large set of data easier and more transparent. Here, we will find a database connector where that filter is determined. The filter is a part of the query that selects what should be migrated over, or at least extracted out of the Salesforce instance, and what should be filtered. Then, we pull the data out of the Salesforce instance and check whether the account from the database exists there. Then we either create a new account or use an existing one, so we can upsert the information to our Salesforce instance. The last step that we do, we log a message report and send an email to the address we listed in the configuration file. Now that we know what stands behind this integration, everything we have to do to make it work is to list our database and Salesforce credentials in the properties file and run the application. Today, we've shown you our database to Salesforce account migration template and migrated accounts from one system to another. To find out more about the template, follow the View Documentation link on the template's detail page. Give the template a try, and if you have any questions or feedback, send it to info at mulesoft.com. Thank you.